Multi-target tracking is where you detect something and track where it's going. This may be because you want to count and monitor something, or you want to be able to detect to interact with it, or you want to track where things are going so you can avoid a collision. To write the algorithm, first you need sensors. You'll pick your sensors based on your environment and what you want to detect. Cameras are the most common, cost-effective, and intuitive sensor using computer vision machine learning approaches, but LiDAR gives you 3D size and spatial information. Radar gives you velocity with a Doppler effect, thermal gives you heat, and ultrasonic is more effective underwater. You may also want to write a module that monitors your confidence in your sensors, that you're getting a consistent stream of data, and that you know if you're blocked, you can't have confidence on detecting something behind the blockage. Once you have your connection from your sensors in, you'll have to decide how you want to fuse and filter your data. Maybe you know you get a lot of noise around trees with radar, but camera detection can help you filter that out. Maybe LiDAR will give you 3D size and positioning that camera can't get, so you fuse the data together. Once you have your data fused, you'll have to decide which pieces of data match with which targets you're tracking. Some will be new, which you'll have to decide how many consistent pieces of information in can be deemed a new active target. Some will add to existing targets, and some existing targets won't get any updates for a period and will have to be considered stale. There's a number of ways for this association. The Bayesian and probabilities, the Hungarian algorithm, and deep learning approaches have all been used. Once you have your targets and data, you'll need to track your established targets, which is often done with some form of Kalman filter, but can also be done with a particle filter. And you're reliant on a good localization to ensure you can remove the robot's motion, or ego motion, from the detected velocity of your targets. Now, the fun begins in testing. 